Well, we're in the car. We are obviously about to go thrifting. Today's thrift store is one that we have been to before, but it's been a minute. Amazing pricing, some really cool little vintage gems. It's a smaller store, but it's kind of packed in there. So there's kind of a lot to dig through and I'm just totally in that mood. So I really want to look at everything, just be looking for some fun vintage pieces. And I want to take a look at their like household goods a little bit too. So we will just see what we can see today and have fun going thrifting. Okay, look at their cute little window display. They have this like paper mache mushroom and whatever that is. Oh, I wonder if that's for sale. That's adorable. We are going to start browsing in the women's tops. They do have a fitting room in this store, so I'm going to be pulling things that I want to keep in my cart to possibly try on or just think about. Starting with this cute little paisley sweater. Also right away found this amazing crocheted giant granny square top, so saving that in the cart as well. I thought a couple of these Alfred Denner tops were really cute. Love the classic red, black, and white, but they just weren't quite the spring vibe that I wanted for the day, so I ended up putting both of these back. But this one, love the colors, fun pattern. Definitely want to give that one a try. Just thought this was funny in a really corny way. This denim top, super cute detail. It's a size 3X, so I kind of pulled it considering if I would want to put it up in a future Galaxy sale or something just for somebody looking for that size. Okay, just in the first rack, I found so much cool stuff. Um, yeah, I'm so excited to keep digging here. Their pricing is really good and they also had a half off sale on anything that they considered a winter item. So I'm looking through more of the sweaters here and you'll see I just come across so many cool vintage gems. <gasps> oh my God, look how cute. Oh, keeping that for sure. Look at the beautiful wedding dresses they have here. They are like marked at 80 or 100, but they look very nice and modern too. Like they have a couple, you know, they have vintage styles, but nothing like over the top 80s or something, you know. Well, maybe this one. That's a little extra. Look at the fun colors. I found these like kind of acid wash jogger pants. They look really comfy. And I might try them on if I get a chance. Yeah. Okay, this is a vintage Avon country French fashion quilted jacket. I feel like it's not typically my style, but I really want to try it. It could be so cute. 
This is a brand I love to come across in the thrift store, Ola Cassini. I wasn't particularly interested in this piece, however, so I put it back. And then I found this cool vintage top. I definitely gotta try that one. Here's a sweet little Pendleton blazer. Love the pattern on this, but it just wasn't the right time of year, really. Also a fun one I'm gonna hang on to for now. Now I've only gone through two rows, like just a little bit of the store. Let me show you how full my cart is already. Another cute vintage sweater. I love the detail on this. Just, I have some other red sweaters that I probably would reach for instead, so I left it. Love the fun, bright colors on this. This would be such a great little summer throw on, and it was 100% cotton, but I just decided it wasn't totally my style. And this one was really pretty, but the wrong size for me, and it was quite sheer, so I was on the fence anyway. And this one was so fun. I just felt like it was a little bit heavy in the style and I was going again for a little bit more of a spring look. So I left that as well. These jeans, so interesting. They definitely caught my eye right away with this like spandex blend they had on the, the crotch and the butt. Uh, but definitely look like a vintage style. So I checked the tag and they are vintage Fredericks of Hollywood, probably a 90s style. That was kind of cool. And then I found a couple of really nice skirts that I threw in the cart, a Pendleton skirt. And then this one, which you can see is actually a Pringle luxury skirt. I probably put like a dozen more blouses in my cart. We still have dresses and the men's section, shoes, bags, household, like so awesome here. Then we're gonna take a look at the dresses. They had a lot of really cute vintage pieces in there. So I just wanted to give you an idea by showing you a bunch of the fun ones that I found here and we'll kind of just flip through everything.
This was a fun Western motif vest tucked into the dresses, but I left it. And then over in the lingerie section, I really only found this vintage nightgown. I thought it was so cute, just not something I would reach for, so I left it as well. And then we're gonna go over and check out the sweatshirts. Even though I said I was looking at seasonal spring items, I can never resist a good vintage sweatshirt. So I found a few in here that I just thought were cute and worth showing you a little bit of that selection. All of the coats were half off on their winter sale, but I really only found this one that I thought was amazing. I think a vintage piece, the liner was so gorgeous. Had this really cute detail of that like pom-pom button at the top and definitely a faux fur. So I think it's vintage, but I didn't end up getting it. It would have been 15 on sale. So let's check out the men's section. Just a few decent little pattern sweaters, but I kind of have a lot of those. This cashmere one wanted to fly off the hanger and come home with me, but I left it. It had some holes. And this last one I considered, but decided I already have a few that are a bit better. Then I found two pairs of vintage Robux in what I thought would be my size. So I grabbed them definitely to try on in the fitting room. I considered this blue frost proof flannel. It definitely looks like a vintage piece and very well loved, very worn in, which gave it a cool grunge vibe. In the end, I decided it was a little bit too busted and that I probably wouldn't actually wear it out. So I left it. But now let's check out my favorite section, the t-shirts. If you know, you know. <laughs> Just about flipped my lid when I pulled this one out and saw the vintage tag. This is a really cool hybrid vintage piece. I'll tell you a little bit about later and it definitely went in the cart. And here is how the cart is currently looking. So let's take a look at the bags. They have just a couple of end caps here to give you an idea. It's a little disorganized, but I pulled a few of what I thought were the coolest ones. Love this vintage tag here, but I left it. I just didn't think the style would work for me. This one is a cool, almost like tapestry one, but I thought the price was a little too high for me. And then this one was very nice in amazing condition for a little vintage piece. The color was fun, but in the end I decided I just didn't need it. And then also wanted to show you this sack bag. It's so cute and summery with the bright colors, but I also left it as well. <laughs> just didn't need it. Uh, now we're gonna look in the linens really quick. This cute granny square blanket caught my eye and look how the corner is even pulled out like it's been carried around by a little toddler. I thought that was so sweet. And they had a couple of other really cool quilts for good prices as well. This would definitely be a great place to come for vintage linens if that's your thing. And then we'll just go around and take a look at some of the other antiques that they have. It feels almost like you're in an antique store because of the quality and just really interesting, unique pieces that they get donated there. I didn't really end up taking any of those home, but it was fun to look at some of these really unique pieces. You've seen everything. I am sorting my cart and I like already forgot how many amazing things are like at the bottom of it right now. I might be able to try some stuff on too. Yes. Okay, I'm in the fitting room. Let's try some things on. Okay, I've got this brown and black houndstooth Jones New York jacket. I really like it. 
it's got like a little bit of a cropped fit which I think is kind of cool and I think it'd be a nice jacket over some cool like black and white graphic tees these are those like acid wash joggers and they are comfy I just feel like they're too big in the waist they're hanging and like kind of low rise I don't know so those are a no this is a strong maybe look at that diaper butt on those pants <laughs> definitely a no also found this little vintage jacket and that quilted one I'm gonna try this is cute it just I wonder if it's something that I really actually would wear I feel like maybe with the pearl buttons that pushes it a little bit too far and I know you can change buttons but I think I probably will just leave it I like look at the little puff sleeve though that's adorable this quilted jacket is so cute I still don't feel like it's my style like I'm gonna wear it but I I might snag it and put it in my shop because it's just so good this is like an optical illusion it almost looks like maybe this stuff fits me but this is like ready a burst. The jeans are giving me like insane muffin tops so <laughs> they're way too tight. Too bad. And look at the legs like I love the cut of them. Oh, I just need like I need like one size bigger. All right, I'm super glad I decided to try that Pendleton skirt because I didn't think it would be my style, but I, I really like it and it fits great. So I think I'm gonna get it. And I'm also gonna get this turtleneck, but I'll have to show you the details later because it's kind of hard to see in here. Save it as a surprise for later. <laughs> Not 100% on this vintage sweatshirt. It is super cute, obviously, but it does have a little bit of like stain around the collar and it fits smaller than I'd like. It's probably like an elementary school mascot or something. <laughs> but I still, I don't know, it's so cute that might win the day. So this is, this is a baby. This is a nice L.L. Bean Sapima cotton turtleneck. I just think it might be too small. Here's a pretty white satin blouse. Just, it's kind of meh. I think I'm gonna leave it. Now this one is 100% silk. Nice cream color. It's got this little wrap style. I can't decide if I like that or not. So this one's kind of a maybe. Hmm, men's sweater, pass. I mean, obviously I'm getting this. This one is like cuter and comfier than I thought it would be. I just can't decide if I need it because it's like a bold sweater and coming into spring, I'm just not 100%, but it's a, it's a good maybe. Come on, it's so cute. Here's some of the other stuff I'm not gonna get. I thought about getting this cute embroidered denim for my shop, but I'm just gonna leave it. This fun pink <laughs> bedazzled tee. Oh, it's got shoulder pads vintage I just you know I'm not gonna wear it I don't know if it's the type of thing that people are trying to buy right now either this cute vintage piece uh, just it's not gonna fit me and also I think I don't know if it's a good sale item we'll just leave it and the sweater vest it was really tempting it's got a lot of stains so I'm just gonna leave it still really torn on this brown jacket I had to try it again I don't know if I need it. I feel like I don't need it. I found so many other pieces, but I just don't think it's like that amazing or special, I guess. <laughs> Man, tell us how you really feel. <laughs> anyway, I'm all done in here and I'm going to make my final decisions and I'll definitely show you the haul of everything I got and style everything up when we get home. So let's get to that part now. Okay, very excited about that haul. It's excellent. And there are some pieces that I don't think you saw at all yet in the store or the fitting room. So let's get into it. The first piece is this equestrian 
themed uh, patchwork cardigan. I thought this would be so cute to wear fully buttoned up as a top and just show off all of the cute little patches on it. So I paired it with a red skirt to bring in an extra pop of color. And then I thought a sneaker to keep it nice and casual would be a cute look for spring. I also probably would love just styling this cardigan top with jeans, but I wanted to bring in something besides denim in my styling too. So obviously I did decide to bring this one home in the end. I just, I really liked how it looked on. It's, it's a cute and comfy fit. Uh, it felt like something that I could hopefully transition into spring and summer. And again, the pricing in this thrift store was so good. I thought, why the heck not? Just throw it in the cart and get it. So hopefully I'll get some wear out of it. It seems like a really fun piece to pattern mix, which is why I also paired it here with my little leopard print bag. Okay, very excited about this one, obviously. It's one that you didn't see in the store, I don't think. This is a little vintage Kmart knit top. It's very snug on me. It's gonna be something that I end up putting up online in one of my shops, but I do think it's so cute in really good condition too. Definitely very wearable, sweet little vintage knit, a lot of 70s vibes. And of course, you know, I was gonna get that crochet top. It's just too cool. It feels like it's not quite the right fit on my bust and not exactly my personal style per se. So this is gonna be another for sale item, I think. And then I did grab that Pendleton skirt. Love how this one fits. I'll show you how I'm gonna style it here in a second. I think the key is to either lean into the sort of dark academia vibe with it or go super casual. So I went with sneakers and a kind of a little crop top in a lighter color to try to bring it into a little bit more of a casual spring look. And I think this is cute and wearable. Couldn't pass the opportunity to thrift a Pringle, but it doesn't fit me. Okay, here comes all the t-shirts. First, I got this Star Wars movie poster tee. I have actually been looking on Etsy at some t-shirts like this in different movies or bands or something with the Japanese katakana lettering. And I'm so happy I found one in a thrift store. So now I have something fun to throw on and wear in that style. Also got just a plain black vintage jockey shirt. It has the single stitch construction. So probably an 80s piece and just a black basic tee, but I thought I would dress it up a little bit to show you how it can be a nice layer. This is a fun Buckhorn Bar Wyoming shirt and love the graphic on the back of it. I think this would be a fun styling and kind of a Western Prairie vibe. So I'm gonna tuck it into one of my long floral skirts and cowboy boots. I actually love how this look came together and I had thought about putting the t-shirt in my shop, but now that I see this look, I might wanna keep it for myself for a while. So we shall see, but another good T score from that thrift stop. I got this vintage tee and off screen, my fiance is asking me, what is Sunsplash? It's a t-shirt, I'm wearing it. Gosh, you really don't get clothes. <laughs> so I think the key with this tee is playing off of the fun neon colors with a little bit of a dad core mixed styling with my sneakers and baseball cap and fanny pack, but then a black and white skirt to again, play off the neon. This is a dark green color. If you can't tell, love the colors in this t-shirt with all the leaves. So I wanted to play off of that with a bright, warm orange pattern pant. And now my favorite piece of the haul, this cool vintage Idaho tee. Okay, so from what I can tell, the tag on the t-shirt is vintage. And I think that it is someone put on a modern screen print because Moosehead Beer is 
pretty modern from what I understand. It also, the graphic is like in perfect condition. So I think it's a vintage tee that was upcycled with a modern screen print job on the front and the back. I still absolutely love it and love a baseball tee, super casual styling. This will be a fun piece to wear as a good vintage looking throwback. I love it. I did grab that sweatshirt. I kind of think it's still a little bit too small, but in the end, the panda won out. I thought it was so cute. So we'll see if I wear it. If not, it could go up for resale. Now this turtleneck you saw me try on, but here is the important detail. The horse on the collar, I thought was so cute. Love how this guy fits too. It's like nice and kind of a loose turtleneck. So I thought it'd be so fun to do an extra preppy kind of styling with it. So put it underneath a blazer with like a really clean cut black and red and white look. And I love how this turned out. This one you saw me try on and it didn't fit, but I did decide to snag it for my shop because I had sold another one with this exact brand in a dark green color. And I have a couple flea markets coming up. It could be good for that. I love this one. This is kind of like a sleeper hero piece because I think it looks so good on and so fun with this pastel green and blue palette. So I wanted to pair it with some other sort of sunset tones and grabbed my velvet yellow trousers and these like peachy velvet shoes. And I love this slouchy look. This kind of looks like a street style vibe to me that's really comfy, but fashionable. You know, I had to grab this one. It's too cute. I think this is going to be something I'll put up for sale as well, although I might try to wear it. It looks amazing with a light wash denim and definitely would be a great spring transitioning piece. And the last thing was the quilted jacket. You know I had to snag this. Still not 100% sure if it's something that I'm gonna wear or if it will be something to sell in my shop, but it is really sweet and definitely a nice lightweight jacket for spring and the price was right. It was only a couple of bucks. So that's it. That's my haul from Culpepper Hospital Thrift. That's everything. Such an awesome haul. Thank you so much for coming thrifting with me. Absolutely love that store and we will head back there again in the future when we get a chance. Leave a comment. Let me know what your favorite pieces were or if I, you think I left anything behind that I'm going to regret later. It happens. <laughs> I did also make one other thrifting stop in the town of Culpeper that day. So there's another video coming soon with a Goodwill trip and another excellent haul. So I'll see you back here next Sunday for a new video.